Today I'm here in the oldest town in Britain for a brand new around the ground. It's Colchester United versus Oldham Athletic and as always I'll be exploring the stadium, taking a look through this club's near 90 year history and interviewing a member of the team. Let's go. Colchester Town were formed in 1873, however, after fans wanted the team to turn professional and the club's officials were against the idea, the supporters formed a new team in 1937 called Colchester United. Town eventually folded, leaving United to take over their ground and build a team that would rule the Southern League before being elected to the Football League in 1950. Despite this, over the next 35 years the club jumped between Division 3 and 4 before finally getting relegated from the Football League for the first time, although a speedy return to the EFL and an FA Trophy win all happened in the next few years. Today they find themselves in a League 2 relegation battle, just three points off of the drop zone. Today's game is huge in this fight, as whoever wins will go above the other team. The club have played at two grounds in their existence, first here at Leia Road, taking over in 1937. The site is now a housing estate, but this statue of player Peter Wright commemorates the club's 71 years here. Also, the street signs around the area nod to features of the ground. Colchester now play here at the JobServe Community Stadium, moving in in 2008. The first competitive goal scored here was actually against Oldham Athletic in a 2-2 draw. The ground's capacity is 10,105 and the record attendance is 10,064, achieved when playing Norwich City. I then took a look around the Colchester Club shop, which is one of the best I've seen at this level. It was well stocked and presented and had a range of merchandise from hats and gloves to scarves and shirts. Okay, so as always we got some food. My dad's got a chicken booty pie, how is it? Fuck a pie. And I've got a cheeseburger. First one I've had in a rollover bag, but let's have a look. If I can open it with one hand, you do it with help. Yeah, that doesn't look great, does it? <laughs> How much is it? Like 3.75. Let's have a bite. Hmm. Not terrible, but definitely could be better. A few minutes till kickoff now. We got the Colchester United fans over here. And to my left, we've also got some Oldham fans. They've brought down quite a few considering where they are on the table, so fair play to them. They've also brought a lot of flags, about seven or so over there, and one down there as well. So, yeah, fair play. Hats off to them. So let's run through the teams for you this afternoon. And the game's kicked off. Good opportunity. Into the box. Ooh! Headed just wide in the post. Free kick for Oldham. Dangerous position. Into the box. Header! And it's tapped in! It's a goal for Oldham. They're 1 0 up. And the away fans go mental. Kelly are done, getting that goal, and that is his 12th goal this season, Oldham's top goal scorer, another goal to the tally. Accolade on the ball, he gets past the defender, into the box, number 14, oh brilliant block. It's a free kick. Oh my gosh, this is a brilliant chance here for Oldham. Through on goal, takes a shot, just wide of the post. If he had scored that, then that would have been huge for the game. Probably would have won it for Oldham with the way things are going at the moment, but he missed. Well, that is half-time here at the Job Serve Community Stadium. 1-0 to the away team, 1-0 to Oldham Athletic. And that is a big mountain now for Colchester to climb in the second half. Hopefully, though, Wayne Brown will have some uh, pre big things to say to his team in the dressing room now and let's see what they can do in the second half. Well, we're about to kick off here again at the Job 
also at Community Stadium. And Akinde has come off for Colchester United. And coming on is their current top goal scorer, Freddie Sears. So hopefully we'll get a couple of goals to put the U's back in front. Great ball forward to Freddie Sears. Can he make an immediate impact off the bench? Oh, that's a penalty shout and a half. Nothing given by the referee, completely ignored. Still Freddie Sears tries to put it in the box, but it's out for a corner. Whoops into the box. Can anyone get ahead on it? I was fallen. Bad touch, so I could have taken a shot there. Long way out, the key passing it backwards. And now the break's on. Nice bit of skill, keeps hold of the ball. Still on it, puts it in the box. Oh my goodness me, what an absolutely fantastic goal. Completely tricks, I think, everybody in the stadium and puts it past the goalkeeper. That is 1 1. Fantastic scenes here. Good ball launched forward, Freddie Sears. Carries on the run. Put in the box. Nobody there though. Cleared away. Another good opportunity now for the U's. They're piling on the pressure. They're keeping on knocking on the door of Oldham Athletic. And surely soon they can get their goal to put them in front. Colchester on the attack. Blocked. And now it could be a counter-attack. Good challenge though. It's back and forth, back and forth. Getting a bit gritty game now. Balls keep being given away. Mistake after mistake, foul after foul. That's a good ball forward. I thought Edward's shirt had been pulled. But still, the shot. Brilliant save by the keeper. Nice bit of skill by Edwards to keep on the ball. Oh, it keeps going. Brilliant run. Surely that's a foul. Edwards back up on his feet. Oh. Colchester charging forward. Put in the box. Headed on. Still take the shot. Colchester still got the ball. It's put in. So. Oh. Brilliant block. I thought that was a goal for a second. Nice overlap. Carries on running. Oh, brilliant block, still in the box. Shot taken into the hands of the keeper, that could have been deadly. If Adams had just put a bit more, or not even, not even the shot's fault really, if it was just in a different area of the goal, that would have been the goal to put Oldham in front. Ball on back, that's a foul surely. Just on the edge of the box. So close to being a penalty, but that is a free kick in a brilliant position now for Colchester. What can they do from it? Two players standing over the free kick. Judge takes it. Bit of spin over the wall into the keeper's hands. And that is full time here at the Job South Community Stadium. Colchester United 1, Old Athletic 1. That is a huge result in the fight for survival for both of these teams. Joining me after the game is interim head coach, Wayne Brown. Um, but there was a lot of good performances today. You know, that we could go throughout the team, there's, there's been a lot of good performances. And those performances need to keep coming to the floor, you know, in, in every game that we, we have. We've got another home game here on Tuesday against Orient. Um, and we need the same effort, we need, need the same desire, we need the same commitment from, from the 11 that we put out there. As I said, you know, I thought we made the keeper work on a number of occasions, second half. We had loads of territory, we were getting into good areas. Um, you know, we, we could be sitting there with three points, but we're not. We're sitting there with one. And it's important, as I said to you before, that you know, we do everything we can to win the game, which I felt we did today. I think there was only one team that were looking to win it. Um, but we certainly don't lose it, especially against teams that are in around us. Um, I feel in patches in the first half there was a little bit of a lack of belief, penetration, but that certainly wasn't there in the second half. Um, you know, we've asked the question, we've got into them a bit at half time, 
for a response and, and they've given us that um, so as I said we need to keep that, that positivity in the group now they've, they've got a, a real positive second half performance to take into Tuesday's game um, and it's about starting a game on Tuesday the, the same way we finished this game you want the momentum in every game um, but it helps when you finish a game like we did and we take the game to an opposition like we did in the second half um, to now take that into Tuesday is, is a lot easier you know it's, it's not how we found ourselves on Tuesday where you know we, you find yourself winning a game of football and then ultimately losing a game of football you know we've, we've worked extremely hard to get the lads back up to a, a level mentally wise where they need to be to give ourselves the best chance of winning a game of football and again I thought they, they did that at times in the first half and very much so in the second half well, you said there was a massive switch up at half time. What did you say to the team to make sure that happened? Uh, you know, listen, you got to ask the questions of individual units and then the, the collective. You know, there's a lot of experience in there. Um, and we just, it seemed like we were panicking at times in the first half. But second half, I felt that we showed more composure, made better decisions, played more intelligent balls into good areas. Um, and when you've got the likes of O on the right hand side that gives you what he does. Um, you've always got a chance. Um, yes, you want better quality in the final third, but that will come. If we keep getting into those areas as we did, um, the, the quality will definitely come out. Not, not every game is a must win. You want to win every game. There's, there's 39 points to play for. If we get 39 points, I'm sure you'll be delighted and so will I. Um, but ultimately, the game of football don't work like that. You know, you, you're going to be up against a, a team in Orient that have struggled of late. So again, we need to start the, the game in a positive manner, the way we finished the second half, and take the game to them. And I'm sure if we do that, our quality will shine through. Great, right, thank you. Well, that is the end of yet another Around the Ground, and I really hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you so much to David, the media person here at Colchester United FC, for arranging the interview and this whole day. Uh, and I really do hope that Colchester do stay up, and I do think that they will achieve it. If you did enjoy watching, please make sure to like, subscribe, share and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.